on the latest episode of 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 days, Jasmine Pineda admitted to Gino Palazzolo that she's been taking birth control pills, and most viewers believe this was a smart decision. In the spin-off, which follows couples who are traveling overseas, searching for the one Jasmine raised some eyebrows. Although she's made some questionable decisions in the past, it seems like her latest lie might have viewers rooting for her. When Gino first arrived in Panama, he brought Jasmine two gifts. An electric toothbrush and a pregnancy test. Jasmine told the cameras that Gino wants a baby and preferably wants her pregnant before he goes back to the US. Unfortunately, what he didn't know was that Jasmine had lied and continued to take birth control pills, even though he believed they were going to try for a baby. While lying in any form is frowned upon, given their history, it appears that this was the best decision for them. This is the first time they've met in person, and when it comes to Jasmine, there has been no shortage of red flags. From asking Gino if he has something with the waitress to having a meltdown about his ex-wife picking out paint colors and decorations in his home, Jasmine has had many jaw-dropping moments throughout their time on the show. In fact, Gino has shared his concerns about how quickly she can flip. It shocked me how Jasmine can get really upset at a moment's notice. Her emotional instability gives me concern about our future, and I really don't know where we go from here. The combination of her instability and this being their first meeting seems to point to the fact that this isn't the best time to start a family. Aside from her outbursts, they have major communication issues, and their opposite ways become more apparent. Jasmine pressures jobless Gino to spend money to change his appearance because she doesn't like the way he dresses. Jasmine also enjoys being spoiled and booked a $2,500 vacation without asking Gino. I just planned a four-day trip to an amazing island here in Panama. Just one little detail you have to pay for it is what she told Gino the day after Christmas. She apparently wasn't happy with his gifts. I in the end, while Jasmine's bib may have disappointed Gino, it was probably the best decision. In the future, her wants may change, perhaps when some time passes, things may evolve, but Gino from 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 days is surely aware of the troubles in their path already. Viewers are eagerly awaiting the next episode, as upcoming previews reveal a distraught Gino watching Jasmine get a lap dance from a male stripper. It'll be exciting to see where this leaves the explosive duo.